One major advantage to owning a QNAP NAS is the ability to easily share files. There may be times when dealing with large or sensitive files that you don't want to send them through third-party cloud, and email services typically have some file size limitations. With QNAP, rather than send a physical drive through the mail, you can simply share it through the NAS. You can choose to share files for your email, a social network such as Facebook, a share link, or another user on the NAS. In this tutorial, we will share a file via a shared link. To do this, start by opening FileStation. Select the file or files you would like to share. And click the share icon you can share via email, in which case you would need to enable SMTP server, which you can find the setup page under notification in the system section of control panel. You can also share via a social network such as Facebook or Twitter. You could share using a link where you create a URL to share with your friend or colleague where they can input it into the address bar to access files. Or you could share with another user on the NAS so that when they put in their credentials, they can view the files. In this tutorial, we're going to create a share link. Under domain name slash IP, you can select either a domain name or IP address. If you have enabled my QNAP cloud, you can use SmartShare, which is a convenient way to create a shared link without having to use port forwarding. If you're not familiar with my QNAP cloud, you can reference our tutorial video QNP 201 in my QNAP college series. And if you would like to encrypt your connection, you can select the show SSL in URL. And you can select the expiration of the link to have it always valid or expire after three days, seven days, 30 days, or a custom expiration. And you can select whether or not to have a password. I'm going to just put in QNAP for a password and then click Create Now. Use the copy icon to copy the URL to your clipboard and click Close. Now, I'm going to input my link. And here I can simply put in the password QNAP that I created, and there are my files. If I wanted to play the video, I could click on the video. Otherwise, you could simply click the download button to download the file or a preview. Sharing files can be an integral part of your collaboration and workflow. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos to better utilize your QNAP NAS.